and the nomination will be yours, they replied. I felt like a man who had walked into the room with a pair of eights and left with aces full. Now, I felt that the best way to run this campaign... Warren, the, you'll listen to me on how to run a campaign. You do well when you listen to me. I do, Duchess. We conducted an old-style front porch campaign from our home in Ohio. Friendly delegates would travel to meet us. I would do plenty of smiling, and Warren would utter platitudes and pleasantries, praising a return to the good old days when small-town values meant so much, as opposed to Mr. Wilson's internationalism and crusade to make the world safe for democracy. The whole country was tired of that, as Warren put it so nicely. America's present needs are not heroics, but healing. Not nostrums, but normalcy. Not revolution, but restoration. Not submergence in internationality, but sustainment in triumphant nationality. I do have a word, way with words, don't I, Duchess? <laughs> yes, Warren Harding, but you misread a word. Hmm? The word is normality, not normalcy. <laughs> but no one seemed to care. Warren was such a good-looking and nice man. As a matter of fact, the reporters picked up on that mistake and made the 1920 campaign slogan out of it, Back to Normalcy, meaning a return to small-town values. It also didn't hurt that we had the support of Hollywood, with even Al Jolson contributing a campaign song.